Hello, welcome here. I'm Florin and uh, I'm sitting in the Tesla Model 3 2021 and uh, today I'm going to talk about a tool that it's available out there for uh, Tesla drivers uh, to know a little bit more insight about uh, about the car. Uh, it's a combination of an app and um, and some uh, hardware that you need. Uh, and uh, I'm going to show you this one because I, I, I got it recently. I'm really excited about it. Uh, I want to install it. Um, so I will walk through the, through the process of uh, installing it um, and then uh, show you a little bit uh, um, um, what kind of information uh, you can get out of, uh, of this tool. I'm really excited about it, as I said, uh, because that will give me also more uh, facts and data uh, um, for my uh, future videos. So stay tuned and let's walk through this uh, together. So scan my Tesla. It's an app available on Android uh, phones and uh, it's connected via uh, an ODB2 uh, um, uh, adapter uh, to the car. However, Tesla Model 3 does not have an ODB2 port. Um, it has one actually under the steering wheel, but apparently it's it's kind of a fake one. It has it it it, it, it gives power supply, but uh, that's about it. So it's not connected to the to the um, to the let's say data stream of the car. I think it's called CAN bus. Um, so that's why you need um, uh, let's say some hardware adapter to be able to to connect this ODB port uh, and then to read the data via the scan my Tesla. So what do you find in the box uh, from uh, uh, eMobility? Um, I will put the I will put their link uh, in in the comments. Um, yeah, you'll find a, a very nice uh, handwritten uh, uh, letter uh, here. Um, you don't see this uh, very often these days. You will get a you'll get an adapter, an ODB2 adapter. I ordered the bundle. You can you can order them separate. You can order only the only the the adapter or the the, the cable then you get this uh, uh, cable adapter you can see it's basically connecting between uh, two different uh, uh, cables that uh, we'll find later on in the car and then um, it's creating a, a real odb uh, odb2 port um, then uh, some advertising i guess uh, advertisement and then um, some uh, some instructions um, <clears throat> it's very critical when um, when installing this to put the car into what they call um, um, uh, shutdown or a real slip. And um, the first thing you need to do is to act to deactivate all possible um, let's say apps that are connected to the car. I have a third-party app. Uh, which I'm going to disconnect now, so uh, there is there is an easy procedure to do that, and then um, we'll uh, we'll we'll follow the steps uh, from here. So first step is to open all doors, and uh, that's what I did, all four. Lower the the window from the uh, driver's side. Then uh, bring the driver's seat in the most uh, forward position, and then um, <clears throat> from the screen here. To initiate the let's say shutdown uh, procedure, um, you will have to deactivate from the safety and security uh, two things. One would be the sentry mode, otherwise the car will be will be kept uh, awake. And uh, deactivate also allow mobile access. Uh, I just did it. Um, uh, yeah, it will ask you for uh, for your Tesla uh, account and, and password. After that, you press uh, power off. It will give you a warning. Yes, power off. At this moment, the car is not fully shut down, so you'll have to wait about uh, five to ten minutes uh, for the car to actually completely uh, uh, shut down. You'll hear a, a noise. You'll hear like a, a, a clock or a bang noise. It comes from the from the main contactor uh, to the battery. Uh, before you do this, you need to make sure that your Tesla app it's uh, it's closed um, and any as I said any other apps that has access to your car they need to be deactivated so um, yeah it allows for the car to actually 
uh, completely uh, shut down. Um, right now here it's 136, so uh, let's see how uh, how long it will take for the car to 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 fully power off. Yeah, you heard that. Um, so uh, after seven minutes, the car uh, completely shut down. So now we can proceed with the with the hardware part. Um, so what we need to do is to remove this little section here. Uh, you will see. I'm going to use. I don't have the the, the special, uh, let's say, plastic tool, but I'm going to use um, uh, just a cart. Um, and um, I'll try to remove it. I understand that there are basically uh, five uh, clips, two here, one here, and then uh, two here on the side. And I'm going to try it from the from the top. Yeah, let me put the camera here, just like this. I will need the uh, two hands, I believe. Yeah. There seems to be a little bit of a gap here, so it's pretty easy to fit this. Uh, but then I need also something more metal. And I'm going to use just the kitchen knife. Yeah, that's about it. And then uh, you'll find uh, this plug. There's a little clip here, which you need to press. And then you pull the pull the cable, pretty easy. And then, um, yeah, from this one, let's open it. And then um, I guess it's a poke yoke uh, thing, yeah. So it will fit this way here. Yeah, you hear a click. And then uh, this one here. Yeah, also a, a little click or a small click. And uh, try to fit it in somewhere here. So then it's not. Yeah. Okay. And then you'll uh, you'll have this one somewhere depends where do you really want to to keep it i believe i'm going to keep it here between uh, between the the middle console and the passenger uh, seat uh, before i close this one i would actually like to to test it first so let's let's have a look if it's uh, if it's working yeah that was the hardware part um now, when you sit on the on the driver uh, seat, the car will uh, will wake up. Uh, you you can see here. Yeah, yeah. It's an instant wake up. Let's get into a bit more comfortable position here. And um, yeah, I'm going to plug in uh, this uh, ODB uh, uh, adapter into the into the uh, connection over there. So so now the adapter will indicate that uh, it has power, which is good. Um, now I will need to open the Scan My Tesla app on Android uh, phone. Um, and then connect via Bluetooth and then uh, the third one will indicate that uh, the app will communicate with the, with the car. So I brought here a tablet, uh, it will be easier for you to see. The first thing you need to do is to connect uh, via Bluetooth to the to the ODB adapter over there. Um, yes, uh, it will ask you for a password, and um, the password for this one is one two three four. Done. Okay. And now, uh, now it's connected. So um, we go now to the Tesla to to scan my Tesla. Um, 
choose Bluetooth device and then it's it's found here and um, I think that's about it um, it says 78.9 percentage on the battery it will start loading a lot of uh, details wow how cool is that you have so many parameters uh, uh, to follow here um, I think one which is quite interesting uh, for many um, Tesla owners to follow would be this battery degradation you see my car already has a 0 0.54 percent um, not too bad I would say after uh, almost three months um, we know that in the in the first uh, let's say period of the car the battery degradation will be relatively high um, then it tells you the full nominal pack how uh, how big is is the battery on this car 74.9 um, yeah there is a buffer apparently uh, on it i need to understand this uh, how, how to read it if this one is included in the in the, in the in the nominal pack or not um, we'll have to we'll have to read more about that yeah a lot of details about temperatures about uh, voltages um, i can also see here in temperature what kind of uh, how uh, how warm or cold is the battery this will be interesting in the in the in the winter i think you can create uh, trips you can see uh, um, uh, yeah, it will record you all these uh, details uh, for for the trips. If I go back to total, there was um, yeah, this one is also interesting in the total. It's just a, a short overview of let's say the most uh, um, uh, let's say relevant uh, uh, information uh, in the car since since the this car uh, is built. So how many kilowatts was this car charged on the DC charger? Uh, how many on the AC charger? We know that the DC charger tend to, uh, uh, let's say, uh, degrade the battery a little bit more. Um, how much uh, energy was regenerated uh, through the, the, let's say, engine engine braking, and uh, how much uh, was it uh, was it used when driving? How much was used when stationary? You see quite high. Yes, I've been spending a lot of time in this car uh, trying to understand how, how is it working. And then a percentage on the regen. Uh, I think all these screens uh, can be customized. Um, yeah, I need to figure out how to, how to do that uh, later on. Yeah, a lot to learn about uh, this app and uh, what kind of insights uh, can provide about, uh, about the car. Uh, let's not forget to, to mount this uh, back on the car. Um, I put it here, you can see the, the, the five clamps that I was uh, talking about. Um, and then uh, it was easy to, to remove just with some uh, basic tools. Um, you can see no, no scratches, uh, nothing really uh, uh, worrying. Uh, I think I will choose to leave the, the, the adapter here between the seats. And uh, I, will, I will just click this one uh, back in uh, for now. Yeah, very easy uh, back in there. And then I will keep this one uh, somewhere here. Uh, this seat is not really, let's say, moved much uh, back and forth. So I might choose to just uh, put a, a tie wrap uh, here. So I decided to take the car out for a, for a short spin. Uh, you can see over here uh, I have the scan my tesla app i'm also re recording uh, on that and i will put it on the screen um, i think it will be interesting to see uh, what kind of information it provides also when um, when you actually drive the car and uh, the first thing i notice is that it actually gives you the the instant consumption which is something you don't normally get uh, from the from the no uh, from the standard screen um, yeah you can see it goes minus it goes plus depending if it's a regeneration or, or usage 
you'll also get uh, here all the way on the top of the screen uh, you'll get the, the, the overall consumption uh, right now you can see when I when I accelerate it's actually uh, starting to use more energy interesting is that it's it's actually using only the the rear uh, uh, wheel drives when I let's say drive gentle if I push the pedal yes you get it full blown Wow um, yeah then uh, I guess the temperatures will also be interesting to to monitor uh, especially the the battery inlet uh, temperature and so on uh, as I said that it's something I, I need to learn how, how is it actually working uh, actual speed yeah, oh, interesting. It's also measuring your uh, speed from 0 to 50 and from uh, 0 to 60. I guess these are miles uh, per hour. Um, but uh, yeah, that will be a different uh, video. Uh, under the trip, if I go here on the trip, let me put it on uh, autopilot. It be easy. Yeah. Under the trip. get uh, much right now yeah okay no no charging in this trip of course uh, it's telling me what uh, what I regenerate um, how much energy I use it it should also update yeah it's updating uh, so also useful information when you want to track uh, uh, let's say trips um, data because in the in the Tesla screen here you, you have something called trips but it, it's only registering when you actually uh, put an address uh, to, to navigate to. Um, but what I, what I also notice is that if you actually uh, stop the car, uh, get out, and so on, it will it will reset this um, uh, this meter here, which says since today at 2:43. Yeah, if I stop somewhere, then this one will uh, will basically disappear from. Uh, from a registration and then you'll get a you'll get it restarted again and that, that's you don't want that uh, on, a, on a long trip you want to register the full uh, full trip so I think uh, scan my Tesla will uh, will provide quite some interesting uh, uh, information on um, on uh, longer trips um, yeah I'm, I'm really excited about this uh, this tool as I said um, so I can I can relate to in my in my new videos and I can make uh, uh, more uh, data qualified uh, uh, reviews. So um, a lot to learn uh, about uh, Scar My Tesla about this tool and uh, a lot to learn about uh, about uh, this car. Um, I'm, I plan to use this tool in my in my coming uh, videos. Um, but as you can see, installing the tool is not uh, is not too difficult it takes about 20 30 minutes um, yeah I had to redo the the, the, the shutdown procedure uh, uh, twice just because uh, I forgot to to turn off one of my uh, one of the online service that uh, that I use so please remember to 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 make sure you shut down all this uh, all these services um, yeah but uh, that's going to be for now uh, thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and uh, see you later.